three trails and two dead ends. The poor nephew is dead, but Baines has the bishop's murderers. The only one left is the rat killer. Have you questioned him? No. May I ask when you're going to do it? When I have found him. What? You're not trying to tell me that he's escaped again? Yes, but this time it's not your fault, nor mine for that matter. You've been using me, Holmes. I unwittingly aided one of the most dangerous criminals in the kingdom to escape. So please tell me why. An explanation would be futile. It would only lead to further pointless questions. But do you have even the slightest notion as to where he might be hiding? Forget Hans Schielman for the moment, Watson. Just concentrate on the fact that the bishop is on the chessboard. In any case, the news has spread like wildfire. Look at the headlines. All the papers are talking about it. And the Globe Explorer, their editors must be jumping for joy. Let the dogs bark with the pack, Watson. But how could Farley be so well informed? Look, he also mentions our visit to the opium den. And in great detail. How did he know? Let me see. Contrary to what you might think, Watson, I do not consider that all of our trails have led to dead ends. We're simply missing a common denominator, something that links them together. And our journalists mystery. Should we attempt to uncover his identity? It is essential that we do so. Let us examine the map. We must talk to Mr. Farley. You have been a great help, dear Toby. I'll ask Mrs. Hudson to send you up some fine giblets. Find Farley's office on the map. Here we are at Farley's office. One cannot say that ethics play a very large role in his life. Look at the headlines pinned to the walls, like trophies of bad taste. Perhaps we will finally begin to understand the reasons for his persistence in tarnishing your reputation. Perhaps. Coffee. It's still hot. A press card. Osmond Farley. It's his overcoat. Cigarettes. An ordinary, inexpensive brand.
I cannot leave now. This is an electric box. Interesting. This door is locked. Is Farley afraid of being interrupted suddenly? I must go out for a while, Miss Jean. I won't be long. Ask my appointments to wait and send this message as a matter of urgency. Mr. Osmond Farley, I presume? Messrs. Holmes and Watson. What a surprise. What is there so surprising about being visited by the targets of your slander? I never slander. I inform. You will have to accept the consequences of these articles, Mr. Farley. Those words sound like a threat, Mr. Holmes. I never threaten. I merely warn. You don't frighten me, Mr. Holmes. I know all of your little secrets. And soon all of London will find out what really hides behind the facade of the impeccable detective. Thanks to my work, the whole world will discover the true Sherlock Holmes. Gentlemen, I don't wish you a good day. What a bore! Even to the point of refusing to shake our hands. Which means that we can avoid having to wash them. Did you notice the crumbs on his jacket? He had just finished eating and his hands will be covered in grease, the same as his mouth. Slovenly habits. That's quite disgusting, Holmes. Do not be deceived, Watson. The workmanship in those tailor-made clothes indicate that he is a man who takes pride in his appearance. If Farley has left without brushing off his jacket or washing his hands, then it is because he spotted our approach and wished to avoid us at all costs. But why? We will find out by searching his office. The secretary will stop you. Please reassure me, Holmes, you don't intend upon knocking her out? Only if we exhaust every other viable alternative. We must find a way of getting into the office and getting the secretary out. We must find a way of getting into the office and getting the secretary out. The secretary is occupied in sending a telegram via their electric telegraph. Farley asked that she should do so before he left. We must find a way of interrupting the transmission, which will oblige her to go to the telegraph office in Kensington. It will take her some time to get there, and if we add on the time it takes to send the telegram and then return here, we should have ample time to search the office without being disturbed. I suppose it's unnecessary to point out the illegality of this search? I'm afraid so. This hanger has a large iron hook. Closed. I need a tool to remove the lid. Closed. I need a tool. I can hear an electrical humming. The secretary is using the electricity supplied by this switch. Let us see if I can cause a short circuit.
There we are. It is simplicity itself. Oh, that's just too bad. Get out quickly, Watson. I'm going to hide here. The way is clear. Let's go, Watson. The key is still in the lock. The page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. You can read shorthand? You never cease to amaze me. Were you a secretary before becoming the great Sher? Perhaps, perhaps. But no, a man must have his secrets. A makeup case with a good brush. The ribbon is missing from this machine. I must look more attentive. I'm I'm The secretary has just changed the typewriter ribbon. There are smudges of dark blue ink. Here is Farley's secretary's telegram. Nothing special here. This book has fallen down from the shelf. The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. My word, it's my stories about your investigations. A real investigative reporter must have read them, my dear Watson. My adventures have fallen from this shelf. This paper only just escaped the flames. But who is this note about? And who wrote it? I will deal with it later. Someone closed the curtain as though he wanted to maintain his privacy. This cabinet has a lot of drawers, each marked with a letter. There is surely a great deal of information in them. But we can't open all of them. We must know what we are looking for. A bunch of keys, a telephone, 
a technological marvel. A number was written next to it quite recently. A fine, educated hand. Holmes, this number seems very familiar. Yes, but let us dial it to be sure. Miss, get me 1313, please. It is Scotland Yard, of course. I'm beginning to understand. Lucky you. Judging from all the notes on the board, our reporter is an assiduous and organized worker. A photograph of Prince Woodville. Farley is evidently also interested in this affair. Here's what is strange, an attack of collective insanity. Horrible story, and rather a strange one. Our man left his sandwich unfinished. This armchair is out of place. This ashtray is worth examining. The cigar end is still hot. This ash comes from an ordinary, well-known brand of cigarettes. It is still warm. This cigar is of a fine quality. It must be very expensive and difficult to obtain. And it is not even finished. What a waste. Farley was not alone when we arrived at his secretary's office. You are thinking of the owner of the cigar? Yes, the reporter smokes ordinary cigarettes. Can you smell the subtle scent of gingerbread? That is the characteristic odor of a Habano Clarissimo. Our mysterious visitor is a rich man, Watson. This category of Havanas is exorbitant, and I cannot imagine a cigar lover crushing out such a marvelous smoke before finishing it. Since we saw no one leaving the building, that must point to a secret exit somewhere. How are we going to find it? By retracing Farley's steps from the moment before we arrived. Look, this room is teeming with clues.
I must look more attentive. I can make out the marks, but I need something to bring them to light. See what has been written. Please write it down. Very well, Holmes. A page of this notebook has been torn out. We can only see the title in shorthand and today's date. It's a message that the secretary must send urgently. I'm going to recopy it. You can read short, perhaps. I wonder which drawer the secretary was interested in. The DF drawer, of course, the one in the message that we deciphered from the secretary's desk blotter. Closed. The DF drawer, of course, there are a lot of cards. How to find the right one? No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, it is unnecessary. No, it is un No, it No, it No, it No, no, it is unnecessary. No, it is un There are a lot of cards. How to find the right one? No, it is unnecessary. I can't do that. No, it is unnecessary. I can't do that. No, it is unne- I can't do that. I can't do that. These blue stains come from an old typewriter ribbon. This card has been removed recently.
this card has got grease marks on it. The reporter made them. Apparently, he's making inquiries about Prince Woodville, too. But where do you come into all this? Look, if we pull the curtain a little, we can see out into the street. Someone closed the curtain, as though he wanted to maintain his privacy. Our man left his sandwich. This armchair is out of place. We must finish our deduction board, Holmes. Farley consulted a card while he ate, which was given to him by his secretary just before she changed the ribbon on her typewriter. The reporter's greasy fingerprints are all over the card.
when he went to file it away, he glanced automatically out of the window and saw us in the street. He closed the filing cabinet and rushed to lock his office door. In his haste, he pushed his chair aside, but didn't think to return it to its place. Precisely. He then hurried to tell his visitor of our arrival and showed him the way out. He then threw a piece of paper into the fireplace. But we still don't know how the cigar-smoking visitor departed. The answer lies in the direction the reporter took, Watson. At a certain moment, he would have been in a place where he had no logical reason to be. Look at our deduction board, and then let us go to the place where the reporter should not be. Look at our deduction board, and then let us go to the place where the reporter should not be. Perhaps not, Watson. 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 Perfect. This book has fallen down from the shelf. Yes, Watson. In his haste, Farley dropped this book, taking it from the shelf. Let's search this place. There's a control box built into the filing cabinet. This box must open the secret door. We don't know the combination, Holmes. The answer is perhaps within the question, my dear fellow. That's not right. That's not right. There we are. It is simplicity itself. Let us go and look at this secret exit, Watson. Chance has smiled upon us, Watson. This hat was almost certainly abandoned by our mysterious visitor. Imagine the scene. In his hurry, the cigar man drops his top hat. The door closes. The hat is caught beneath it. Fearing above all that he should be discovered, he does not attempt to retrieve it, instead preferring to flee. Who would take such action to avoid meeting us? I cannot tell as yet, but it is certain that he carries the advantage of knowing us. We must discover his identity in order to redress the balance, and this hat will help us. Let us return to Baker Street.